Today, we're going to explore how and why food and fiber are produced in managed environments. In this video, we'll dive into the science of farming, look at different types of crops and animals raised for food and fiber, and understand why managing these environments is crucial for sustainability. First, let's define what we mean by a managed environment. In simple terms, a managed environment is any area where humans control the conditions to grow crops or raise animals. This could include farms, greenhouses, or even hydroponic systems where plants grow without soil. Humans manage these environments to produce food, fiber, like cotton and wool, and other important resources efficiently. But why do we need to manage these environments? Let's explore. We produce food to nourish our bodies, and fiber is essential for many everyday items like clothing, textiles, and paper. Think about all the cotton used to make shirts, the wool for sweaters, and even the food we eat every day. It all comes from managed environments. Managed environments allow farmers to grow these resources in a controlled way, making sure we have consistent and sustainable supplies. This is especially important as the global population continues to grow, and we need to make sure we can feed everyone. Now, let's look at the different ways food and fiber are produced in managed environments. First up, we have traditional farming, which involves growing crops in the soil and raising animals on open land. Crops like wheat, corn, and vegetables are grown in fields, and animals like sheep and cattle are raised for meat, milk, and fiber. Next, let's look at greenhouses. A greenhouse is a structure that allows plants to grow in a controlled environment, even during the colder months. It helps regulate temperature, humidity, and light to ensure optimal growth. Lastly, we have hydroponic farming. This method uses water instead of soil to grow plants. Plants get nutrients directly from the water, which is a more efficient way to grow in areas with limited space or resources. Sustainable farming practices like crop rotation, water conservation, and using natural fertilizers help protect the environment while still producing the resources we need. By managing the land carefully, farmers can reduce waste, use fewer pesticides, and preserve natural ecosystems for future generations. It's all about balance. So, to recap, we use a variety of methods like traditional farming, greenhouses, and hydroponics, and we focus on sustainable practices to protect our planet. If you'd like to explore more about this topic, check out the links below for additional resources. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more educational lessons. Thanks for watching.